Hello traders, today I'm going to be reviewing PyNX GPT. So what PyNX did is they took ChatGPT and they made it their own. So we're going to dive right into that and how to use it. So when you go here, there's a bunch of different things that you can do. I already have a strategy running, um, but I do want to show you guys uh, a really quick way to do this. So I have a few going right now. As you can see, I'm going to show you guys um, my bots right here. These are the three ones that I, I have right now, and my current one that is running is my uh, Momentum Trading Bot, as you can see right here. And it's quite easy to run, so let me just walk you guys through really how you can do this. Everything that I show in this video is free. Of course, the transactions that you pay for your trades are not free when you trade futures or when you trade spot on Pinex. Those fees are uh, not that bad, though. So yeah. So let's say that I want to do a strategy to can to capture channel breakouts. You know, we have it right here. All you have to do is just, you're going to copy this code, as you can see right there. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to trading view. This is a current strategy that I have running, but we're gonna minimize that. What we're gonna do here is we are going to do Pine Editor. This is the code that I, uh, oh, this is Leviathan's code, but we are going to create a new strategy. I just copy pasted it through that in there from uh, Pinex GPT. Again, this is all free, uh, as you can see right here. And now I'm just gonna click add a chart and we will see if that um, works. Awesome, it does work. It gives us buy and sell signals. This is something that's quite simple, of course. Um, and you can create something a little bit more complex through the GPT, through Pinex GPT. But we're just gonna use this as a quick, um, as a quick example. After you do this, Pinex GPT, and you're ready to get the bot running on Pinex, it's actually quite simple. All you have to do is you are going to go to trade. It's gonna bring you to the bot. You're gonna to go to the very bottom of that page and you gotta hit signal bot, okay? After that, you're gonna click trading view custom signal. And name doesn't matter, but let's just say uh, channel breakout strategy, just to keep things organized. I'm gonna continue, this doesn't matter, we're just gonna click cool. And this is really what you need. These two guys right here are quite important. So for the next step, what you're gonna do is we are going to click the dot, 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 and I'm gonna add an alert on this guy. So the time frame that I'm on right now is the one minute. Make sure you're on a time frame that you do like. Then what you can see here is we have exactly what we need. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to notifications, and we are going to input the webhook URL. So the webhook URL right here, we just copy that guy and we throw him in right there, awesome. And notify on app, show pop-up, you know, you can get what you want, cool. Um, let's do those two look good to me. And then after that, we're going to change the message. So the message that we're gonna use is right here. I'm gonna click the copy button and I am going to paste him in right there. Got it? Okay. So some final things I need to do just before I uh, run the code. I'm going to take this right here, this channel breakout strategy. We're gonna go to settings and let's just change this to 100 USDT. I've been told that sometimes the bot doesn't work unless you put the order size to 100 USDT. So we just need to make sure that is set up. Uh, style visibility, all else looks pretty good. The length can change, but for these examples, we're just gonna keep it um, there, okay? So we have that alert right uh, it is, should be this guy right here. Yep, it's the guy on top uh, right there. Now to run the strategy, all you gotta do is we are going to go back to this. I'm going to click, I have finished setting up alerts. I'm going to click confirm, and I'm gonna click use the signal to give it permission. So I currently have uh, my $200 in another strategy that is, you know, doing pretty well right now. I mean, not doing really well right now, but it's, it's trading right now. Um, but if I was to cancel that and then throw this in here, I mean, I could show you guys if I click cancel. I don't really want to stop the bot, but um, yeah, you have to use an investment of at least 50. Um, but yeah, what you would do is you put an investment of at least 50. I like using three times leverage. You're then going to click the pair that you want. But this part's really important, guys. You need to match up. Um, uh, that's cool. You're gonna to need to match up the coin that you're looking at with the coin that you're trading. So for example, I'm using Bitcoin right now, correct? I'm using Bitcoin. So because of that, I have to do this to be Bitcoin as well, all right? Additionally, when you are using these, you need to use a Binance spot pair, got it? 
So the different pairs that you can do is, remember, these are all going to be um, on Binance, but traded on Pionex. You're going to get one of these pairs. Like, let's say I wanted to trade uh, Solana. I would go like this. I would type in just simply Binance Sol USDT. Got it? I would click that, and this strategy is going to load for this. And yeah, that's all we, I mean, right now the code is still just going to be on BTC USDT. But that could change if I uh, if I wanted it to. Uh, but yeah, so let's say you want to trade Solana, you would then click Solana. But for this example here, we're going to keep this on Bitcoin. You're going to put the investment in, and then you're going to click Start Copying. Oh, so my bot's actually turning a bit of a profit right now. So that is how you use the Pinex GPT system. It's super simple. You can do this with Open Interest. You can do this with Bitfinex Margin Data. A lot of different things you can do this with. But another thing that I want to show you guys is the GPT Marketplace. These are where you can get other people's strategies and actually just copy them immediately. So I can go to Fire Signals. I, I don't know who this guy is. Actually, let's go to a free one. This guy's free right here. So this one is free. It's super simple. If you want to get in on a strategy that someone else had created through Pinex GPT, all you do is you just click subscribe and you just pick the coin that allows you. I like leverage at three, but it's, it's up to you. And you just do it, you know? That, that's all you have to do to get in. So I may or may not be creating my own strategies on Pinex and, and listing them here. But that's just the really simple way that you can use Pinex GPT to create code. And just look at that. Yeah. So that's going to do it for this video. Uh, just to give you guys just a quick overview of how this works. Uh, so if you go to Pinex.com, you're going to click Try Now. After you do Try Now, you're going to use the chat GPT from Pinex to create whatever kind of trading view strategy that you would, that you would like. You're then gonna copy that code, and you are then, after you uh, copy the code necessary, you're gonna go into Trading View, and you're gonna to click to uh, create a new strategy. Creating a new strategy is just simply going to Pine Editor and then hitting Open, awesome, new strategy. You paste in your new strategy, you make sure it adds to the chart, make sure that it looks good, optimize it however you want to. After you optimize it, you're then gonna leave this, and you're simply gonna to go to Trade, and after you go to Trade, you just go to the bot right here, you scroll to the bottom and you have a signal bot free of charge. Super helpful, right here. You click Trading View Custom Signal and you do what I just did. With that, that is how you use Pinex GPT to code any strategy that you can possibly think of for free. And the fees that you have on Pinex Futures are very low. It's 0.02% for limit and 0.05% for market orders. With that, I'm going to keep using this. Uh, and we're going to see what we can do on this really nice Bitcoin downtrend. Uh, you can see all my alerts are piling up, which is awesome. Um, and yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much uh, for watching. And I think that this is a pretty cool marketplace that uh, is really the first to formally incorporate Chat GPT into direct trading, which is pretty dope. With that, happy trading, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.